were saddened to learn recently about the passing of one of our friends from the land of 10,000 stories. Boyd Hooper first introduced us to Jim Spindler two summers ago. He was and is a Minnesota original. Tonight, a look back at Jim's claim to fame and then an update that'll explain why Medford's pop tab man went out on top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Ooh, that's a lot of pop. But what if your thirst for pop tops still isn't quenched? What if you're Jim Spindler? This is three million tabs. Three million. Three, over three million. Like doing a hundred dues a day for 82 years. One tab at a time. <laughs> or four tabs every day since the birth of, yeah, him. Big box. <laughs> a big box, now strapped and bulging. Around 1,500 to make a poem. Literally, a ton of tabs, and still not enough. Every tab in Jim's collection was once attached to a can. A lot of people bring cans down here. By Jim's estimate, Half the city of Medford. And they know I'm saving tabs, so they said, I'm not taking the tabs off the cans. You can have the cans, too. There's the switch. Which is why Jim now owns a crusher built of parts from an old airport baggage carrier. His version of shotgunning beers. But even this, even this isn't enough. That's it. Sometimes twice a day, Jim goes on a Coca-Cola cruise, a Pepsi pilgrimage, a 7-Up safari. I'm looking for pop cans and tabs and beautiful women. <laughs> I got my eyes open all the time. That's why I got to have to wear glasses. Today, Jim's a victim of his own diligence. I don't see none of them. Not a can he hasn't already found and barely a morsel of litter which Jim also gathers out of civic pride. You go to some other towns, a small town like this, people just don't give a shit. They leave it all garbage all over. Not Medford, darn it. Look at the streets, look how clean it is. Not since or before Jim's retirement. I hauled garbage. When I was in business, I had all the whole town. Now, the former garbage man has just one goal left. Them are the extra ones. I haven't weighed them yet. After 30 years of collecting pop tops, you betcha. Jim scrambling to get every last tab before donating his collection for scrap to help families at Rochester's Ronald McDonald House. A lot of people say I should turn them in and sell them. I said, I'm going to give them the Ronald McDonald's. That's what it says right there, and that's nobody's going to change my mind. So drink up. After three decades of nonstop. Pop Tops. I think it's going to be a super day. Jim Spindler is about to put a lid on it. Boy Duper, CARE 11 News. Jim Spindler passed away on June 8th at the age of 78, but before he died, his wish came true. Last summer, he escorted his pop tabs through Medford's annual parade. And he delivered them to the Ronald McDonald House in Rochester, largest pop tab donation they'd ever received. Then Jim got back to work. Here's a picture taken just last month as his son Kurt delivered to the Ronald McDonald House another 100,000 pop tabs that Jim had collected in his final months. <laughs> 